What is going on, guys? It is your boy Appetit back with a new video today. I'm going to be giving you guys some pro tips on how to improve your movement and show you guys some cool things about movement in this game and Call of Duty Modern Warfare, things you might not know and things that will help you become a better player. So we're going to break this video down into a couple categories. And the first thing we're going to be talking about is this movement helping you to win gunfights. And I've talked about some of these things in previous videos, but I'm going to touch on some of these things. So let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to talk about is jump shotting. So jump shotting is actually very good in this game. The simple way to do it is you want to sprint around a corner and just jump and aim in. And as you jump around a corner, you're already holding your pre-aim. And then the other way you can do it is the double sprint, the tactical sprint, double sprint, and then do this. You, the only difference between both of them is you're going to jump farther and faster. So usually the tactical sprint, the double sprint will catch people off guard and it's usually a better kill. And to add on top of the jump shotting, now this is something you may have seen. This is actually a very crazy animation and it's almost impossible to react again sometimes because it's that good. We're going to be talking about the bunny hop, the double jump. I call it the bunny hop. That's what it's usually called. And it's a very simple but takes a lot of practice to really get it down where you're doing it almost every time uh perfectly so basically what you want to do is you want to have your double sprint that's the best way to do it you, you're going to double sprint around a corner and as soon as you're, you're about to get around the corner you're going to jump and then as soon as you're about to land you hit a nice little hop right after so you want to aim in hop jump as you can see it so basically goes like that you aim in and the trick to this is you want to aim in see how far far i'm flying across as i'm hopping nice little hop there and i've gotten really good at to it where i do it <laughs> actually very well it takes a little practice because it's also about timing you want to jump as soon as you're about to land you don't want to jump before or after and you see i didn't even do it there so basically just to give you a quick tutorial again you're going to double sprint and you're going to jump and as as you're jumping mid-air you want to hold your aim and then as soon as you land you're going to want to jump again right when you're going to land and it takes a little practice, but once you get used to this, this is actually a very crazy and very good animation to do. And it catches people off guard. There's nothing you can do about it. As soon as you come around the corner, I'm already aiming in. So I'm already getting looking at my target. And you fly at a pretty fast pace. If you see if you're noticing the bunny hop, like it's not a little like slow hop. You're actually hopping very fast around a corner. And it's just because the momentum you're getting from the tactical sprint and just jumping. And you want to aim in bang all right guys the next thing we're going to be talking about is sliding now you can use sliding in different ways the one way you can use it is sliding around corners and then hit firing people or just sliding kind of catching them off guard like you could do in previous cards and then just challenge them right away and it's, it's basically a little different than just running to a door and challenging or jumping around a door instead you're sliding and it's sort of you're not obviously not the same height if someone slides, if I'm aiming here, someone slides, they're going to be more so towards here. So sliding around corners is very good. It sort of catches people off guard. Sliding can be really good to dodge bullets. Obviously, like if there's a guy here, you can slide as soon as you see him to sort of dodge the bullets. People even have tend to slide in gunfights. I feel like it happens accidental, but people do it sometimes on purpose. So let's say you're just, let's say a guy is here kind of preying you or he's he comes around the corner and about to challenge you and you come around the corner and you're full sprint. When you full sprint, by the time you react, by the time you aim in, he he will probably kill you, especially the TTK in this game, time to kill. So what people do is as soon as they see the person, they slide. And what sliding does is you you can basically dodge bullets and then you can you can basically hit fire challenge a second later. Because obviously the guy's gonna be aiming like upper torso, middle of your body, maybe a little high. And what, when you slide, basically, you're going to go under his bullets. And then it's, he has to readjust his aim to kill you. So another cool animation you can do in this game is you want to slide into a drop shot. And it actually looks kind of crazy sometimes on people's screen. So let's say I want to go around this corner instead of just sliding. As soon as you want to time the slide where the sliding is about to end somewhere around here. And you're going to prone immediately after the slide's over. So you're going to do something like this and then challenge right away. And it catches people off guard because it's like what I was saying earlier. Not when you slide, you're obviously lower than normal height. But then when you slide into a drop shot, now you're extremely low. And it's hard for people to readjust their aim before you kill them. So obviously, it also depends, like like I said, like how far you do it. You obviously want to get like kind of time it where you're going to drop shot around a corner. So like right here into the drop shot. You see, that was a little bit slightly late. But you want to, it's really good because people don't expect you to do it. And it's a really cool animation in this game and a cool movement. So the next thing we're going to be talking about is strafe jumping. Now, I don't know if you guys played past Call of Duties that you can do this in, but basically allows you to jump slightly farther than you actually can or get to places from point A to point B. 
that you thought you couldn't before. So if I were to just do normal jump like this, you see, I barely don't make it, but I, I, I don't make it. It's impossible. It's basically impossible just to normally sp normal sprint and jump towards there. But if I strafe jump, which is sort of like this, you see how I'm allowed to jump there. And it takes a little practice and you can see I did it on my first try. It's basically like sort of like a snake movement where you turn. You're going to basically, instead of just going straight, you're going to sort of twist a little bit and then curve your body. You're going to want to jump that way. And it takes a little practice, but once you get a hang of it, it allows you to jump to more places that you thought you couldn't before. To give you one more example before we move on, I'm going to try to double sprint here and try to jump here. I barely make it, but it's just not possible. Now I'm going to hit a nice little strafe jump right here. And as you can see, I make it with ease. So the next cool tip I'm going to share with you guys is that it's sliding down stairs actually is a lot faster. You can do this with ramps. It isn't as effective, but going down ramps is also a little faster or well, sliding down ramps. So basically, I'm going to slide down this ramp and you can see how fast I go through this. This very quickly. I'm already down. It only took me a second uh, compared to versus, you know, if you were just to walk down the stairs, definitely it'll take me about it takes an extra second. The time is basically doubled. I'm going to show you again. You simply could double sprint and then slide down. You could do this at any staircase. It actually allows you to maneuver really fast around the map, just faster in general. Uh, and it's just really fast movement. It's just obviously like this can be very useful in a lot of situations and just sliding down immediately will help you. That one second difference in Call of Duty can make all the difference. All right, guys, for the next thing we're going to be talking about is fast hopping over walls. So as you can see, my character is hopping over the walls very quickly. There's no slow animation. And basically the way to do this is simply sprinting or double sprinting over the wall. And your character is going to do the fast like motion and try to hop over it. And this is very useful. Obviously, if you're trying to be aggressive, rush very quickly. You can keep doing this. Hopefully, it's not making you guys dizzy. But to set, share something else, if you want to simply just hop over the wall or just hop on top of the wall, rather over it, because that is a mistake a lot of us do. And it was actually, I was actually struggling with that a lot in the start of the game. I was like, damn, bro, I don't want to jump over the wall. I just want to be on top of it. Uh, simply just move slow to your thumbstick. Just push it forward on the wall. You do not want to sprint nor double sprint. Just push towards the stick towards the wall and just hop up. Press X, A, whatever system you're on and just hop over the wall. And obviously you can also do this. If you guys didn't know, you can actually side hop in this game. I don't know if this has been in other Call of Duties, but you do not need to be looking at the wall to hop it. As long as it's, I think you have to be to the side of it. You can maybe be slightly like this. You can hop it. You can hop backwards even like you can actually never mind. You can hop any way, but you can hop sideways. Um, This can be sort of useful in a very random situation but it can be useful and to add on top of that guys this is another cool tip you can actually cut some of the animation on certain areas that you can go like jump high on so to give you the best example on this map and this specific location there's definitely a lot of spots in this game that you can do that um you can see this little box here uh, beside the crate so if i'm gonna double sprint you see how it gives me the animation to actually hop on it and i gotta hop on this box if i want to jump onto the next box but if you were to double sprint and jump beforehand and like jump high, as you can see, there's barely, I cut the animation in half. I basically am on top of it already. As soon as all you see is a slight, maybe 0.3 milliseconds, like animation very quickly. It's just my foot, like sort of putting my foot on top of it, but it's very quickly. Oh my. So that's a way to cut animation on little things. You can see my body character goes very fast, but I just found something very interesting. Apparently you can cut a full animation in certain spots. As you can see, I'm jumping onto the blue crate instantly, which is a new thing. I just found out mid video, which is pretty cool. Let's get like a million likes for this. So what you want to do in certain spots like this, you want to spam your jump button and, and basically your character is going to sort of skip this kind of like the animation I was doing and hop onto the next thing. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know how useful that would be on certain parts of the map, but look at me. I'm literally skipping this whole thing and jumping onto the this thing. And the crazy thing about this guys is I can't jump like this. There's no, there's no way for me to jump normally on this. I'm basically using this as a very quick stepping stone. That's pretty nuts. I don't know if you guys already knew this, but you can actually jump on top of doorways. And it's actually kind of random, but if you didn't know that already, it's actually pretty cool. There are some maps that can actually be kind of useful. For example, like Hackney Yard right here in this specific location. Instead of playing the random corners or just in there, you can actually jump on top of this doorway and sort of hold this angle, which is pretty cool. Uh, just for you guys to know so i shared my secrets tips and knowledge with you guys hopefully this video helps you get better movement get more twisted more crack uh helps you learn a couple things so you you don't be as um how do i say like a robot and stiff you know play with some finesse make sure to drop that like comment and subscribe especially if this video actually ended up helping you i just learned something new right now which is pretty nuts mid video 
uh i had to share it with you guys i didn't want to save that for myself i seriously appreciate all the love in my past couple of videos and all my videos i seriously been trying to grind youtube out and just keep posting some amazing videos mix of awesome gameplay and tip videos for you guys to help you guys inform you guys i am a pro player and i do know a lot and i'm trying to learn the game and learn more as i go on so hopefully these help man i really love helping you guys and help you guys become better i love when people write in the youtube comment like oh thank you so much for the tips like they've helped me so much or when people come into my twitch stream and in the chat and write like oh apathy these tips help so much man i really appreciate them i'm so i'm a much a better player now like that's just awesome to hear and that's why i do it hope you all have a wonderful day night afternoon whatever it is and i'll see y'all next time